Hi, it's me, Heather. Most of my friends know me as Sybil. Um, I'm very, very, very not like the type of person to share um, things that I experience on social media, but um, I wanted to especially let all of my friends that I do have on Facebook, who most of my friends that are on Facebook are people that I know personally and they are friends of mine. So I love you all. I miss you all so much. I hope that your lives are great and God bless you. I want to share with you this journey that I've been on since I have been gone, especially with all my girlfriends down south um, in South Florida. I um, met the man of my dreams and about three years ago um, completely stopped my life and my tracks after being a life survivor and dancing for 15 years and having to take care of my kids and struggling, all of my friends know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, so I basically have been through a culture shock after meeting my husband. Um, we just got married on Valentine's Day in Lauderdale by the Sea. And we have a two-year-old son. Um, his name is Baby Eric. And, well, he's almost two. But, anyways. Um, sorry. I'm getting off track here. So, of course, obviously, after getting out of an industry like what most of my friends know that I was in, um... I went through a culture shock. I basically completely um, finally had a chance to feel all of the pain that my that my whole life has basically been, <laughs> which you know life sucks sometimes for some people and they have to get through it and I thank God that he made me so pretty that I could do what I could do to survive and I have always been very um ever since I was a child very um spiritual um my father he had me baptized Methodist um and, the, you know, I've always said prayers in my head as a child, as all of the struggling that I was going through when I was a little girl. Um, I've always prayed in my head daily, every day, and any, anything that has ever gone wrong. And I always knew that there was something that God put me on this earth for some reason. And that's why I would tell myself when I was going through a crisis. I was like, there has got to be a reason why I'm on this earth. I know there's a reason why I'm on this earth all my life. I would be driving back and forth from St. Augustine to Miami to go work, crying my eyes out. I know God is putting me on this, has put me on this earth for a reason. I would say over and over and over again, well, finally... I have figured it out. <laughs> I have recently um, got experienced, well, let me start over again. After being told by a few doctors um, that I was a empath, um, uh, after researching what that means and diving into it, um, I, of course, reached out to some, a, a psychic in Jacksonville Beach. Her name was Mia. And um, I basically had a reading done and she saw that I was an empath. She told me I was. Uh, she told me I'd be moving back to uh, 
close to water very soon, which at the at the time, me and my fiance, who's my husband now, we were split up, and um, the house that we did build is by a lake. Um, I didn't expect for me and him to get back together. We have been separated and back together. There's this thing out there called Twin Flames. I believe that's kind of like what we have, but it's amazing. Anyways, um, so back to um, the spiritual stuff that I'm going through. Uh, I just got my... Reiki Master's and Teacher Certification on an online course um, with a teacher called, named Lisa Powers. And um, I r reached out, um, well, I actually was walking around looking for some of the crystals and stones that the psychic that I had met in Jacksonville had given me. She did a mind, body, and soul cleanse and a chakra alignment, and then she wanted to put a bubble of protection around myself. Well, after doing the mind, body, and soul cleanse and chakra alignment, I um, saw in my meditations goddesses, I saw angels, I saw heaven, and I saw my whole life flash before my eyes. And I, I just <laughs> started to, I mean, most of you know that I would always run around with my favorite book, the only astrology book that you'll ever need. <laughs> All of my girlfriends down south in Miami remember my book it's all ripped up still <laughs> this is actually my second one <laughs> you know I've always been into astrology so I started getting into some tarot card readings and stuff like that and I, I started doing them and they were coming out right and this is actually pretty cool so how I got introduced into the Reiki um I Obviously, after having three kids and falling down a flight of stairs last two years ago, um, I had eight bulging discs in my neck and in my, well, in my back and a bent neck. And I had three epidurals in my tailbone and three in my neck. And not much there. Um, I denied the pain pills because I've been down that road before and opted for medical marijuana instead. Uh, for the pain, and um, anyways, uh, I was down south in Miami about six months ago, and no, three months ago, and I was going through a very difficult part of um, Miami that was, uh, I have post-traumatic stress, I've also, um, I'm on, I'm disabled, um, I'm on disability for the post-traumatic stress. Um, I don't usually tell anyone, but, um, this, uh, chakra alignment and attunement that I just, or, uh, uh, Reiki, Reiki, sorry, <laughs> Reiki, uh, um, healing session and attunement. Um, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, anyways. <laughs> I, 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 I'm on disability for um, something happened to me here in St. Augustine where I live now when I was about 14 years old um, and it, it, it was um, something very traumatic and um, five guys rape me at the same time and they were friends of mine when I was 13 and I uh, also had a very 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 um, hard childhood growing up with my father I, I got taken away from him um, I needed to be with my dad I should have 
if I would have stayed with him, I probably would have been okay, but <laughs> everything happens for a reason. Anyways, I'm getting all, like, wiggly here because of my bulging disc. So, anyways, I'm in Miami a couple months ago. Um, it was actually when we were getting married, and I'm going through a part of South Beach that... I remembered and it kind of gave me some flashbacks so I had ducked my head down in the car and my husband was driving um, and on the phone and I was like a 20 minutes I was stuck down like like covering my eyes and just hunched over in the car and I uh, as soon as he like past the place I tried to set up in the car and after being in the car for five hour drive all the way down there and everything I got stuck I could not get up so I was not like physically able to stand up <laughs> and um I had to find like somebody to help me a chiropractor or something to get me back home so I researched um, in the area that I was staying with my friend, Russie. Hi, Russie. How are you? <laughs> I've got your friend Madonna here. Anyways, um, she's mine now. Um, <laughs> I found a, um, a chiropractor's office um, right by my friend Russie's house where we stayed in Plantation in Fort Lauderdale. And she was a... Reiki, she had previously done Reiki for 15 years and acupuncture and something called EMT or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, whatever she did, she stuck all these needles in my back, which I was not prepared for. Um, and I had my first acupuncture. Um, and that basically healed my back so much that I felt amazing and after all the epidural shots that I've had and all the pain and everything I just got drawn into wanting to learn more about it so I get an online class I do my research I study 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 I get it all done the Reiki um the Reiki um, certification I got done all in about three weeks. Um, then I was trying to reach out to the Lisa Powers lady who I was taking the classes with um, to do the Tunements, which she said that she does them all at one time. Thank God I didn't do that because I the first uh, I just got attuned yesterday. So, um, and and that's enough for me <laughs> right now. Um, it was amazing. My experience yesterday was amazing. I had the best experience with this Reiki teacher master her name is Mo she's here in St. Augustine Florida and she as soon as I met her I I just like fell in love with her and she completely had me floating in the air and she told me that the angels were here helping and that's why I was floating I could with my eyes closed I could see her blowing the colors of my chakras it was crazy insane anyways my sacral chakra most of you probably don't know about the chakra systems but we all have chakras in our body um, and the sacral chakra is where the babies come from <laughs> uh, is is completely blocked <laughs> and uh, that's because of the uh, rape um, and you know having to do certain things that I don't want to talk about right now but um anyways I have had like a crazy 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 day um I had no symptoms last night 
up until I was looking up in the sky at the moon and I was Palo Santoing my yard and above my head, like she told me to, um, with the shoku ray. And um, I even have them on my hands. Uh, and all of a sudden, my um, neighbors pulled up and um, I looked over and I normally am not scared. Uh, usually I am scared when I'm running around my house at Sage, but at that moment I wasn't. Um, I felt like I, I, I didn't care as much as I usually do about what people think about me. And 